Known for its white sand beaches, towering limestone rock formations, pristine waters, and beautiful coral reefs, this is El Nido, Palawan. Hello everyone, welcome to another series of our adventure in the Philippines. El Nido is a small town located on the beautiful island of Palawan. It is a gateway to the Bakwit Bay which is home to some of the most beautiful islands, lagoons, and beaches in the world. There's a stunning scenery everywhere you look. To be able to see the beauty of this place, El Nido is offering tour packages that you can choose from. So there are four packages. We did the tour A and C for two consecutive days. These are the most popular tour as per the locals. So in this video, I'm sharing what the islands are included in Tour A, how they look like, how's the trip look like, and what are the things to do on the islands. So stick with us till the end. As soon as we hop on a boat, our tour guide gave us some information about the islands, what to expect, and of course the rules and regulations. The duration of this tour is half day or about 4 to 5 hours. So there are five islands that we visited for this tour. And our first stop is the Seven Commandos Beach. It is a beautiful beach paradise and Il Nido. It is backdrop by the mountain, high cliffs sheltering the white sand and the crystal clear water. The beach has many planted coconut trees and serve as a shelter during the scorching weather in summer. It was named after the stranded fishing vessel, Seven Commandos Beach has a fascinating history. When the vessel was repaired and left the beach, locals discover a huge stone engraved with the words Seven Commandos, which they believe was the name of the vessel. We are at the commando seven commando beach so this is the first stop for the uh, tour package a it's so beautiful here there are lots of people though and uh, look at the sand it's so fine it's just like flower this Lots of things to do here as well. The water is so nice. It's not cold, it's not hot, it's just perfect for swimming. While we were watching the game, we saw lots of monkeys. They are clinging and playing on the coconut trees. So if you want to smoke, this is the area and some refreshment here. There are lots of people. Look at the lineup for this one. We are heading to the next island.
and this is so nice guys because on this island there are a few coconut and ice cream vendors so if you're hungry or you're thirsty you can buy from them matatamaan ka na ah, are you okay ah oh, kaya mo nako wow <laughs> Our second stop is the secret lagoon of Minilak Island. Well, it's not secret anymore, but it remains as one of the most popular attractions in Il Nido. Concealed behind the car's limestone cliffs, the secret lagoon offers a hidden world waiting to be explored. To access the secret lagoon, people must scramble or swim through a tiny opening on the rock's face depending on the tide. It's a bit challenge to get in for me, but once inside, you will be rewarded to the stunning views of the emerald shallow waters and the surrounding rock formations that make for a perfect photo opportunities. Our next stop is the Minolak Island, a perfect place for swimming and snorkeling. We really enjoy the waters of this area. There are some parts that are shallow, however, you're not allowed to step on the rocks just to protect the corals. There are many kinds of fish here too and they are beautiful however i cannot show it to you guys because i did not bring my gopro and i wasn't able to capture them Our next stop is Shimizu Island. It is renowned for being one of the top snorkeling spots in Il Nido. So in here you can see wide range of corals and marine life and also with its towering limestone rock walls and pristine white sandy beach, Shimizu Island is a perfect place to stop for lunch. So there are many trees and shaded areas where we can sit. And uh, while eating, be mindful because someone might be watching you like this one. So Shimizu Island is named after the Japanese diver who lost his life while exploring an underwater cave in this island.
By the way, free lunch is included for every tour. But uh, of course, just a heads up, if you don't like Filipino food, bring your own. Our last stop is the Big Lagoon. Actually, this is my favorite one. It is a stunning natural wonder surrounded by towering limestone cliffs, making it the most photographed attraction in Bakwit Bay. So if you are planning a trip to El Nido, the Big Lagoon is a must-visit destination that should not be missed. And over there, that's the lagoon at the back of the Big Rock. It's so relaxing. Look at the water. It's so clear. My goodness. And the limestone. Wow. Amazing. There are lots of people kayaking here. To access the big lagoon, you have to pass through a shallow but large channel which can accommodate several boats at the same time. And during low tide, visitors can walk or kayak through the channel. And once inside the lagoon, visitors can enjoy the natural swimming hole with emerald green waters surrounded by massive and towering cars wall. So we enjoyed our one hour kayaking in this area and we saw lots of marine life beautiful beautiful surroundings and look at that where are the people now they are scared to come here <laughs> Turn around and come out, he said. Yeah. There's no go through here. Yeah. Oh, sea urchins. Sea urchins. Wow. Oh, ano yung Oh, Wow. Wow. Wow, there are lots of sea urchins. Yeah. Wow. Oh. Uh -huh. Sea urchins. Those ones are so big. The coral reef.
natin. Ma, ma, sa akin. Yun o. Sir, yun eh. Kumalik na yun. May nakita din kaming shark doon. Sa gilid. Malit lang? Malaki, malaki. Saan? Thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please don't forget to give a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe and by clicking the icon bell, you'll be notified for my future uploads like this. And to all my subscribers, thank you, thank you very much for all your support. Maraming maraming salamat po. Walang talaba, ano pa? Kahit batu lang ano? Paano kaya nila? Paano kaya sila nabubuhay? Ya? Yeah?